to another episode of Outline Adventures. Yo, yo, yo! Alright, as a little man said, welcome back to another episode. This one, episode 19? Yeah. Yeah, 19. Uh, this one is all about the Jetty Rats. Now, I don't name them that, they're self-titled because all these little young Redland Bay local legends do is fish and go to school and probably annoy their parents. <laughs> that <good>? That's what <laughs> I do! <laughs> oh. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, so these little fellas, they just froth on fishing. They're actually really, really good at it. And I'm stoked to be able to go out and hang around with them all weekend, this weekend. All right, so I've organized some pretty cool prizes for these little fellas. Now, Bayside Bait and Tackle, Gobblers Lures, PE Tackle, and us, we've all come on board and we're throwing in some cool prizes for these little fellas, whoever wins the fishing comp. So I'm gonna do biggest overall fish and biggest mud crab, and then a prize for the biggest squid. Now, it's gonna go over two days, Saturday, Saturday night, and Sunday and then the winner's gonna be drawn Sunday Arvo. I don't know what they're gonna do, but I reckon it's gonna be pretty entertaining. So what these little fellas do, right, is they've got their pushies, they've got a milk crate, they've got all their rods on it, they just cruise around fishing all the time. Nothing makes me happier than seeing these fellas cruise past my house, give me a wave, yeah, just been fishing, got a big flatty, got a bream, got a couple of jacks and muddies and blah, blah, blah. It's, it's awesome, that's what kids should be doing to me. So I love seeing it and I want to do something for these young fellas. So this weekend we're doing a comp and it's going to be good. And I reckon there's going to be some pretty good fish caught. So what me and me little apprentice here are doing is we're going to make, you're my apprentice. You're my apprentice bike builder. I'm apprentice. It's like a little helper, yeah. except you don't get paid. So it's slave labor. Hey. So what we're going to do yeah. is I'm going to put a milk crate on my pushy. It's not really my pushy, it's our family's pushy. I'd have something cool like a black one or something like that, but got me rod holders, got me zip ties, got me milk crate, and I've got me pushy. Looks like I've got to oil up the chain and pump up the tire, but we're going to be ready to roll. So let's get this uh, thing and I'm going to be an honorary jetty rat this weekend. Yeah. Rightio. We whack these. This goes up here. Like this. <laughs> How's that? Boys are going to be stoked. Some zippies, mate. Some fishing rods, and we're away. Going to run a couple of yellowies. That's going to uh, blend in with the crate and not look. So dodgy, almost like I know what I'm doing. I got these zippies from Kmart, They're like 500 pack for six dollars, so they can't be very good. I reckon I got to load it right up. Let's go to town. I've just struck gold. Steel zip ties. Found them in my shed. Got everything in there. Yep. She ain't going nowhere. Now for the rod holders. <laughs> I'm done. I'm an honorary jetty rat. How good's this? I think the fuel I'm gonna save. Eh? Right guys, as I said, tomorrow I'm gonna meet the boys and I'm gonna run through all the rules. I've got a couple more rules that I've got to make up yet. We're all gonna hang around together, I think, and cruise together because it's gonna be easier to film for one and I reckon they're gonna crack me up. I'm honestly really, really looking forward to it this weekend, getting back to my roots.
this is what I used to do as a kid. I, when I was, I'm 38 years old now, and I still feel like a 10 year old. I, when I was nine or 10, I used to have my own little eight foot tinny with a four, four horsepower, uh, little, I think it was a Chrysler, it looked like a Chrysler, it was a Johnson. And um, I used to wheel at my uncle Teddy, yes, his name was Teddy. My uncle Teddy used to, he made me a, a trailer out of a push bike. And I used to put this little seven or eight foot tinny with my cousin and my best mate on this push bike with the four horsepower motor. We used to cruise down. We secretly pulled out one of those logs that don't let the um, cars through, like to parks and stuff, pulled out a log. And we used to wheel it down into the uh, mangroves and slide it in and go check our crab pots. And um, we used to go sell mud crabs for 20 bucks a mud crab to all the people around. If I'm incriminating myself, I'm sorry, I was nine years old, so deal with it. Um, and yeah, so that was my whole childhood, doing all that sort of stuff. My motor used to break down all the time and we'd have to wait for an outgoing tide so we could swim it with the current and get out to the mouth and put it back on the bike and tow it home. And and uh, when the boat wasn't, wasn't running, I used to get a, a backpack with my bodyboard and I'd swim out and I used to have little leaves sprayed white and I'd go, go along with my little hook and I'd hook the pot, swim it over to the side and I'd grab the mud crab out and I'd put it in my backpack and it wouldn't even tie it up. And I'd go to the next pot and then I'd do that, four pots, and then I'd go home and whatever crabs I got, I'd sell them. And I think I was like making like 80 to $100 a week sometime as a nine or 10 year old kid. So that's what I used to do. And to see all these little fellas cruising down doing that, I don't know, there's something about it. I, I love it so I want to I want to do something really cool for these young fellas and they're actually doing something really cool for me by letting me hang out with them for the weekend so I'm looking forward to it anyway it's getting dark I gotta go play cricket tonight and I'll see you Saturday morning hello boys welcome to the first inaugural Jetty Rats fishing comp <laughs> Tomorrow it starts, I'm just going to read out all the rules and everything, right? So, it starts tomorrow at 7 a.m. Is all good for 7? Yeah. Yeah. So what you need to bring, right, is a bike. We've all got pushies. Yeah. Uh, rods. Yeah. Tackle. Yeah. Food and water. Or beer, whatever you should have your beer, do you? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, food, water, bait, if you're fishing with bait, or bait for your crab pot. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You can buy bait and catch it. You can, if you're real desperate, I've got some fish frames that in my freezer, which yep. you're welcome to. But, but I tell you, um, chicken, chicken works the best, right? And it's cheap as. Yeah. And there's like a hundred and something dollars worth of prizes just for the biggest crab. Alright? So it's worth getting the bit of. Yeah. Well, no, I've got four pots there at my house, which, yeah, so there's a, there's eight, right, so one, two, three, four, two. five, six, seven, eight, you got two. I've got one. So what we're going to do, right, is we're going to go set up the pots in the morning, we've got perfect tides all weekend for this, yeah. and it's no wind tomorrow, and it's yeah. westerly Sunday, so it's going to be sick. Okay. We're going rain, hail, or shine. Yeah. It's fishing time. All right, yeah, so 7am is low tide, 1pm is high tide, and then 7 PM is low tide, right? And the wind swings westerly tomorrow, Arvo, and, and night time, I'm going to take you squid spearing. Yes. Alright, oh. so it brings me to another thing later, but... I'm wearing a spear. It's not, yep. If you don't have a hand spear, alright, I've got one someone can borrow, but you can make one. I've got one. Right? And you just need a head torch. Yeah. And if you've got some reef boots or, or whatever... A waiter. Waiters, I'll they're wait better. I'll waiter. Yeah, if you've got them, that's what you'll need. So Sunday, we'll meet down there at 7 o'clock. Again, same spot, 7 yep. o'clock. All right. So we'll go, first we'll go bring back all the pots. We'll check them overnight. That's probably when we'll get the muddies, or you always get them on your nighttime tides. And then we've got a high tide overnight. So it's mint, like this weekend's going to be epic. Mm -hmm. Everyone's crab. Yep. So we'll bring the crabs back, put the crab pots back, then we'll fish. We'll go fishing, fish the incoming. And 1 o'clock, it finishes. So right on one o'clock, bang, that's it, done, finished, yep. all right? And after that, we'll just pack up, cruise to wherever we want, and I'll tell you the weights and all that and who won. All right, here's the rules, all right? You can't be late. Can't be late. That's one. Gotta be there at seven. Seven. If anyone's gonna be late, it'll probably be me. <laughs> and me. <laughs>
we've all got to stick together. Yep. So we can't split up in two groups to talk to you about that. Like it's gonna be way easier to film and everything. So we're all gonna stick together. Yep. Alright. Two rods per person. Now only legal male crabs can be measured yep. and be weighed, okay? So we, we can't weigh a Jenny or anything like that. Jenny so Jenny, I remember the Jenny that Dad yeah, caught. They go the back, court. we put them back, and it's only legal sized male mud crabs. Is right? that mud crab? Bait or plastics can be used, and you can take a cast net, you can cast net liveys, whatever you want to do. So bait or plastics, yep. and pots need to have floats on them. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Alright, so they're oh. the rules. Alright, so the heaviest fish, right? gets a $50 voucher from Bayside Bait and Tackle and a new rod. Ooh. Heaviest crab gets a $50 PE Tackle voucher and a 40 pack mixed pack of Gobblers Lures plus in. Awesome Gobblers you said. They are good. And the heaviest squid gets to come and choose something from our apparel thing. But it is what? Alrighty. Like that, no jump you get a hoodie, like you can get a shirt, you can get a hat, you can get whatever, okay? My dad said tell, uh, the yellow drone. <laughs> the drone. <Yeah. laughs> tell him it's green. <laughs> <laughs> Alright boys, he's all happy with that? Yeah. yeah. Everyone's got it? Yeah. yeah. Sweet. Alright, well, see you in the place. morning. Yeah. Who's gonna win? Me. Me. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, see you in the morning. Yeah. Alright, good morning. It is Saturday morning, and it's the first day of the Jetty Rats fishing comp. <laughs> the boys are absolutely frothing. I come out at like 6.30, walked out of my house, ready to put the crab pots out for them, and there's four of them <laughs> on their bikes just sitting on the road. So they're excited, which is good. So am I. Um, so I'm meeting them down the bottom of the street. Forgot to pump my bike tires up. <laughs> uh, and, um, so yeah, one of the boys is bringing a bike pump. And then we're gonna go put these pots out and then we'll come back fishing, so it's bright. All right, we're all down here. Well, nearly all of us. One, two, three, four, five, six. Who's missing? Codes. Cody. 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 All right, wait for him to come down. I said to everyone, bring crab pots and bring bait. And one person brought bait. Me. <laughs> Little joy. All right, we'll cruise up to mine and um, get that last one and then um i've got some crab bait in my freezer and stuff like that so whoever wants some fish frames or whatever i'll get that hey mate how are ya rightio so the bike pump's broken <laughs> so i've whacked the bike in the van and i'm going down to pump my tires up i hope this isn't a sign of things to come Radio. we've got a puncher in the tyre. Probably should have checked this yesterday. We're dramas, we're dramas. I had to get the kids' bikes, and the other kids' bike had a flat tyre, so this is my last choice. Back to me roots. Here's the boys. We're on. We are on. The boys. We're heading down to the creek. Then I'm gonna go teach the boys how to fish. <laughs> Is that easy? Yeah, not really. <laughs> How you going day, mate? That easy, mate. Yeah. Good on the oh. You plastics on the loose, mate. <laughs> oh, no. He's what fishing already. <laughs> yeah, there's a jack right there. You trolling? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think the boys are leading me astray here. <laughs> oh man, this is funny as. Where are they taking us, mate? Oh, I don't know, but we've got some around. <laughs> <laughs> what do you got, mate? Chalk. Chalk and a boom. 
Chooking oh, a chooking. broom. <laughs> For you using, right? young fella. Oh, uh, broom and whatever the name. Broom and broom. How you going with your frozen yeah, fish, mate? Not the best. <laughs> Still frozen. <laughs> you know how to do that? Yeah, I think. <laughs> you sure, mate? Oh, uh, I might walk maybe. up. Oh, that's a big there. muddy hole. There's Stick your head well. down there. Oh, this is another place. Is there a hole in there? Ah! I want to slip. Oh, you reckon he's going to slip? Yeah. Yeah, he's going to slip for sure. Watch out for crocs. <laughs> <laughs> Knee deep. Hughie. <laughs> 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 He's like in mud. <laughs> oh no. Uh. Oh no, you can actually get across the I think where's the muddy one? Where's your pot Liam? If we can get across there, we can like go muddy walking and stuff through there. So you're on down there, walking down the main road. Bloody workout. Where's Liam? Oh, are you going down there to just wet it? Yeah. <laughs> I thought you had your pot. That's it. How do you tie a granny knot? No idea. Do you actually know? How to no. Tie? <laughs> oh. Oh. You know how to tie one? I'm struggling. Yeah. What is it? My spelling. Yeah, my knot tying's like your spelling. <laughs> <laughs> what does I G H T mean? I. <laughs> what does it mean, but? I don't know. Just say. Like, yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, so you actually purposely write. Yeah. I-G-H-D. Yeah. Right. It means like all right, but like, just I-I-T. I-I-T. Yeah. Right. No, no. <laughs> like, like Asian or something. <laughs> <laughs> this is what it's all about, mate, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Hasn't even tied his bait in. <laughs> Righto. Let it, let it loose. Maybe it's not. Give it a big throw, Riley. Launch it. Oh, yes. That looks crabby. Now just chuck the float over the top of it. Oh no, I probably wouldn't have chucked it over the other side. <laughs> Rightio, pot number what? Three. Codes is uh taking the hard road. Taking the hard road, gun. You right mate? I think so. Put the pot horizontal. Yeah. Oh yeah, that looks crabby. That looks crabby. Very sinky too. <laughs> Don't worry about the knot, just launch it. Oh, actually, leave the. I'd leave the. Uh, I'd leave the float up here, yeah, in amongst the trees. Right, mate. You know to ha have the bait up the top, hey. Up the top. <laughs> uh, here he goes. Here he goes. Big oh, boy yeah. throw. Yep. That looks crabby. Can I throw the float in the water? Ow. Pot number five. He's taking like... his shoes off. It's getting serious. <laughs> Make sure your bait's down the bottom, Zach. Yeah, bottom. Is your is that hole done up tight enough? Yeah, I'll help you, mate. Try your mm -hmm. Send it. No, here you go. Thanks. Mate, you can't ask me where to put your pot. I don't know. That means it's my crab if you I get should, it. You should know the spot. I don't know. I, I can't. That, that's like too close to coast. Oh, a golf ball. That's oh, like too close going? to coast. Score. It's tailor made. <laughs> you sell that for a dollar. Well, more Easy. Than that. Sure. I don't know. Oh, songs are sticking. I'm going barefoot. <laughs> Wait, where's the mango? Where's the water? Just keep going right. Just straight? Yeah, I guess. This is um, too good of a spot. Go left, if I can get through left. Oh yeah, I see. The cop oh big spider. I see water. Oh. Oh. Oh, 
Lock number six. Yep. Let's go. Tie that up. Rightio, yep. lucky last. Show us your pot demo. This Good is how one. he rolls. Yeah. Doesn't even tie, doesn't tie the bait in, just no, no chucks it in, that. mate. No need for it. And away you go. It's usually how it happens. Massive muddy. Alright. What? Whack him in a, a big muddy on the tree and where? Over there, apparently. Was it? What? Big, big muddy. muddy. Nah. Oh. Yes it was. No, I was joking. No, you What do you found there, mate? Oh, the you dug yourself a I, I don't know where my feet went. Dug yourself a hole. There's oh, a brand new tire down there. It's like a Cooper's Discovery tire. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I know. I reckon we are. Uh, Head out of here for a gander. I'm going. I'm getting back to nature. Hey. Oh! <laughs> no, joking. Righto. Let the competition begin. Yep. Game on, boys. Game on. Out there on that bank. Rightio, the boys have come out fishing for a flick. The comp has started. This is Codes, the old boy. This is young Sonny, the ripper on the scooter. You. This is young Joy. He's got pretty much everything in his crate that you need. This is Liam. He reckons he's got the biggest crab already. It's young Riley, the silent assassin. Doesn't say much, but he's gonna come up with the goods, I can feel it. And this is Zach, Sonny's brother. I reckon he's the smoky horse out of everyone. Give us a wave, mate. <laughs> this is Damo, he's gone off his own. He reckons he's on a secret spot here. are hooked up to each other. We're gonna head up along this point here. Have a cast off the there's a little rock bar around there so we'll go and have a flick around there I reckon. No way the things you find when you're fishing. How good's that? Do you find some shades mate? Yeah. What is that? I wonder if it still works. <laughs> did you actually catch it or did you find it? Cut me foot open, eh? Like that long underneath it. Oh, I fell in the water. <laughs> <laughs> foot got stuck. Oh. All right, he's getting your bikes and coming up, or what do yeah. you want to do? All right, I'll see you up there. What happened? Yeah. Damo's got a snag. Oh, you got it off? Yeah. I reckon we're going to hook up soon. Someone's going to get one. Someone's going to be on. I can feel it in my bones. What a day. Well, oh, yep. Ah, trickers again. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> what grade are you in, Zach? Uh, nearly seven. Six. Nearly grade seven. So nearly high school. Yeah. You looking forward to it? No. No. <laughs>
Which high school are you going to go to? Vicky. Vicky Point. Hey. Yeah. Is that where your brother is now? Yeah. No, so, do you really? Oh. He's got a squid. Oh. He had a squid and he's dropped it. Cody, I reckon I reckon Cody's in with probably a pretty good chance of winning something, eh? Yeah. He goes the right old codes. Alright, codes is on. He's got a squid over there. Shade over here, so we'll go and have a look. You jealous? Yeah. <laughs> You'll get one, mate. Here we go, codes. Mm. Mate. Man. That's not a bad one, mate. Start the uh, start the account. Yeah. Let's put him put him on the wire. Mm. All right, the boys are on. They've swapped to the squid jigs. Damo just lost a good one. Codes has got a not bad one here, mate. Not bad. Good size. Poke that through him. Hold him still. What's he weighing? Three hundred and ninety-five grams. Rightio. First one. I'm gonna put that in the book. Yeah. 395 grams, boys. Biggest squid so far. See that's tonight. He's on. Yeah. Here we go. Don't let him go, mate. Come on. Keep Please. the pressure on him. Yeah, yeah. Yes, Tommy. Grab his head. You got him? Yeah. Yes! Here we go. He's gonna bite me again. Look. I always get bitten by him. No, his mouth is just there. So <laughs> Just Close. <laughs> oh look! Oh no! Get that beak! Look at his beak coming for me. <laughs> Codes. Yeah, He's got you, mate. I seen him. I walked over. I seen him, and then I was like, I looked at Jar. I was like, No, don't come over. Don't come over. <laughs> oh, so you stayed quiet about it? Yeah. See, I was like, I was looking around, seeing if he's <laughs> he, he, uh, coming. So... Yeah, he's got you for sure. Five hundred and fifty-five. 555. Get a double photo, I reckon? Yeah. Yeah, mate. Good work. You. He's winning in the squid. That's <laughs> yeah. a hard one to beat. I shouldn't have told you. So. <laughs> you shouldn't have. Oh, wait, you raid Cody's? Yeah. Holy crap. You've actually got everything, aren't you? You're very organised. Yep. Except squid. Hey? Except He's got brag mat, net, did you say? Yep, cast net. Cast net, rods, bait, tackle, lip grips, bulk. Bloody uh, hooks. He had the scissors that I forgot. What else have you got? Knife. Knife. <laughs> What's his hood? They always measure it by hoods. 27. 20, no, 22. We're we going for Damo. Bloody. Bloody still. What a day. Ready bay for you? Hey? Ready bay for you, nice squid. Yeah. Muddies. Ready bay squid. Hopefully some muddies later on. Couple of flatties. You. Got something in there? Yep. Do ya? Oh yep, here we go. What'd you get? Couple of herring. Righto, the boys are changing up their game plan and they're going to start using some bait. So what little rig are you doing, mate? Just making like sort of a little dropper rig for whiting. Yep. And then just tie a sinker at the bottom here. And she'll get some. Good man. Yeah. Codes, what rig are you doing? Ball sinker with swivel, light line, just a tiny long shank with a bit of tiger squid. Up. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just got a long shank, a little sinker, just a bit of squid on there. Hopefully, chase some whiting or something. So, sinker straight to hook? Yeah. Lazy man's way? No, mate, good way. That's the way I do it. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? Um, normal things. <laughs> normal things? Yeah. What's normal? Um, hook and sinker. <laughs> yeah. Um, hook, sinker straight down to the hook. Yeah. Lazy man's way. Yep. Yeah, that's how I do it. Uh -oh. Liam, 
Lazy man's way. Lazy man's All way as well, are you? All the way. Rightio. Little Jai, where's he? Right there. Here we go. You drop a rig. There you go. One hook here. One hook here. And sinker there. Sinker. Dodgy knot one. He's gone the sinker above the swivel straight down to the long shank with some uh, tiger squid. So you know it'll be interesting if you get a whiting on that because mm. usually that? whiting don't like tiger squid. Yeah, really? really? Yeah. What squid do they like? Pencil. Pencil squid or the bait, you know, the tweed baits, bay yeah. squid mm -hmm. that you get, the little ones in the packets. Yeah. Wait, them. Cody, you have pencil squid in here. I learned the hard way. Mm. Need a bit of 40 mil pipe, mate. Yeah. <laughs> Where's all the bait, mate? I reckon we should be down there, near the mangroves. Do you remember what I said about the Barracuda, but eh? <laughs> a long time. I thought that might happen. Long Tom. Vermin. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. He's not happy, Jan. Hey, oh! Mate, doesn't count. That was a, that was a marlin. Was it? You boys had your hearts in your mouths then, thinking he had something yeah, huge, no. didn't you? I, I thought it was a tailor at first, I was like... <laughs> yeah, Taylor would be a keep up for sure. That would have been a big Taylor. Yep. Alright, the boys are here. Bailey and Taylor. They're back from the city. They missed the low tide, so they got to take the paddle board. I've seen a big shark out there just before too, so... Nice! Yeah. It was only a white pointer, so it's all right. There's a long tom out there, watch out. <laughs> Have a go at this. Have a look at this bearded beast. What? Look at it, mate. Have you, Are you shampoo? What's my long grey? I've got really long grey there somewhere. Hang on, I got him, yeah. Yeah, yeah there he is. Don't pull it, it out. That's <laughs> my pet. Yeah, you're going to grow a beard like that? Wait, you got a beard, you're hiding it, are you? No. You show us your beard. <laughs> and no beard there. The boys were a bit hungry, weren't you? Yep. So I went up the road, grabbed them some snags. I bought the car down. I've ditched the bike for a bit. I bought the car down and we got Chantel cooking up a feast for them. <laughs> some orange juice. How good is this? Sarah felt sorry for me on the pink beast. So she got me a new Treadley. 40 bucks off marketplace, how good's that? Righto, ditch the car back, going back down to see the boys. Hey, how's my new Treadley? Yeah. 
There goes this. Have you caught anything? <laughs> no, nothing. nothing. He's a crap. <laughs> yeah, right. you caught? Nothing. Ha -ha. Yeah. Why do I do that? Whoa there. Now you're trolling. Oh, I'm trolling. Go on for flatties in the park. Liam's trolling. Whoa! Yeah, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> well, we've come up the creek. There's Riley's pot down there. Are you tempted to check it, Riley? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ken, if you want, mate. Oh, no, no. We've got seven of us flicking here for. Uh oh. oh. For flatties. Flatties or brim. Too many snags here, mate. Mm. Hey? Oh, I'm going one. up to this little secret spot. Oh, oh, secret spot. Not even the fish know about it. Where? Oh, brown snake. <laughs> well, someone's turned the fish tap off. Not even getting a bite. Very hard going. Hopefully, they start coming on a bit later. Or else, we're in strife. Oh, how's this? This is the, this is the spot, Zach. Is this hey, spot? No. Look at this mate. Oh, just got a hit. Did you? No. Nah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Not many snags here, mate. Yo! Secret spot. Not even the fish know about it. Oh, yeah. Yep. All right, he can't wait any longer. He's got too excited, haven't you? Yeah. That's my line on there. Yeah. <laughs> Gonna check his pot, just see what's here. Oh, it'll do in the arse. <laughs> Is there anything in there? Big crabs. Big, big dog. Big crabs. one or nothing. Big one or nothing. Ooh. Oh. If you enjoyed this episode and are keen to see more, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel and check us out on Facebook and Instagram.